In round two, our experts will choose from seven questions, scaling in difficulty from one to seven. And you better believe those seven dollar questions are going to be really hard. They'll get two questions each, and for each one, they can either answer or push. But if they push and their opponent answers the question correctly, it's the opponent who gets the money. Now bear in mind, our experts can't lose any money in this round, but if they play smart, they can stop their opponents from making much money. Now Dave, you currently have the lowest score, but don't despair. We're going to start with you. You'll be fine. Thank you. So if you I can go ahead and uh, swipe me a number there. Oh. Okay, you've brought up the lowest, the $1 question, and you can choose now to either answer it or pass it to either Whitney or Tim. Um, I will pass it to Whitney. Okay. Whitney had done very watch, well in the first round, so it makes sense to lock up one of her lower-priced questions. Okay, Whitney, your $1 question. What season did pitcher Joba Chamberlain make his debut? 2005. Uh, unfortunately, that's incorrect. It's 2007. That's a hard $1 question. That was a pretty hard $1 question. You yeah. should see the ten, uh, $7 question. Yeesh. I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay, so now it's going to go to Tim. Tim, if you could swipe us out a number there. Okay, you oh brought up two. Oh. Another of the lower valued questions. What are you going to do with that? Unfortunately, I'm going to give it to Whitney. Oh. oh. This is... Whitney being this is stonewalled right off dark. the start. Okay, so... Thanks, boys. Whitney, your second and final question for the round. Okay. Your $2 question. What two teams did the Yankees sweep in the World Series under Torrey? The San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. That is correct, adding $2 to your score. So, thank you. Unfortunately, that's uh, most that's of your contribution to this round. Well, no, was, I, I'll be contributing much more out of in we'll character. See. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so actually now it is so your turn to go ahead and swipe us out okay. a number. Okay, $4, smack dab in the middle there. Now, you unfortunately have answered both of your questions, but you can choose to pass it to either Dave or Tim at this point. Uh, I'm going to pass this one to Tim. Okay, a little bit of revenge perhaps. Uh, so Tim, you are going to be answering the $4 question, and that is going to be, what four people does the crew pick up on Persephone? Persephone, that would be uh, Shepard Book, uh, Simon and River, and the federal agent whose name. Gonna need the name. Is. Oh, Glenn. Fortunately, no. You did get the first three correct. The fourth name, though, was Lawrence Dobson. Lawrence! Lawrence. Not Glenn. It's not Glenn. Okay, it's so not uh, Dave, why don't we have you swipe for a second time? Okay. Not a lot of people are Okay, seven. bringing up the big $7 question. Now, are you going to answer that or are you going to pass that over to Tim? I'm going to give it to Tim. Whoa! Okay, yeah, Tim. <laughs> your second and final question for the round, the $7 question, a big opportunity for you to take the lead. What medicine is the crew sent to steal from the train in the train job? Oh, what is the name of the medicine? Huh. Huh. That is the question. Huh. 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 Oh, he's counting down and oh. Is it hydroxapan? Unfortunately, no. That sounds pretty correct. I know, right? But Better than Glenn. <laughs> Unfortunately, the answer is Pescaline D. Pescaline D. I don't watch the show. I imagine it's the cure for some sort of futuristic STD Bodin's or something. Bodin's malady. Okay. Well, yeah. you do that, but unfortunately not the part. answer. So, Tim, if you can give us a little swipe, figure out what question Dave is going to be answering. Mm He'll -hmm. be answering the, the $6, six dollar question. question. Also quite a difficult yeah. one. So, Dave, for $6, when Muppet Show guest stars were asked who their favorite Muppet was so they could be sure to be included in a sketch with that character, Miss Piggy was named favorite by the most celebrities. What Muppet came in a close second? You've got like I, a 60 to 1 shot here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Kermit seems kind of obvious, so I'm going to go with Fozzie. Unfortunately, while Kermit was obvious, it is no. not Fozzie. The correct answer is Animal. Oh. Coming mm -hmm. out of left field. Celebrities, yeah. remember? Celebrities. They like Frank Oz, I guess. They do a lot of drugs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they now, we're a lot of bondage gear. If you can swipe what? us up, the second question Dave is going to be answering. If you've been following along from home, you're not surprised to find the $5 question come up. So, Dave, for $5, and again, the chance to take the lead. 
In the Mac Davis episode of The Muppet Show, what character was duplicated by Honeydew's duplicating machine? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I will just go with Beaker since that's his assistant. That is a very wise guess, and it puts you in the lead, oh. gaining $5 oh. off of a yes. actual guess. Thank you. Beaker with Beaker. So the second round certainly shook things up. We have a new lead expert. That's Dave. Whitney coming in second. Tim, I have faith for you in the third round. 